from time to time here at First Down Playbook, you've heard us uh, design a play and break down a play and talk about how to get the ball to your backs uh, without just handing it off. And uh, this is applicable to flag football as well. And you're looking at a 5v5 play that we've got uh, drawn up right here. And you'll notice that we've got two backs in the backfield. And um, that normally would set it up for some kind of misdirection uh, with the run game or some mixed direction with an RPO. And they are all very good plays. And if you go into first down playbook into this formation, you're going to find that. But we also just want to point out that there are some very fundamental passing game concepts that are easy to complete for even a very young flag football quarterback. Now, this right here, we've got it. Uh, we're calling the F angle is what we're calling it right here. I mean, there are a lot of names for this in football. Some people call it Texas. Uh, they, there are a lot of things that you can call it. But at the end of the day, what the F is doing right here is they, on the snap, are bursting to the flat. Now, it's probably better if you can throw the flat maybe a time or two before you call this right here. But uh, at the very young uh, ages, uh, with flag football, it might not be necessary. Now, let's look at the two scenarios that you have. If you have zone that you're getting in flag football and, and you do get some zone there, really what you're thinking right here is to get the Z in a close split. Get about five, uh, maybe a, a yard or two more from the center, but on the snap, that Z wants to run the toes of the linebackers. In other words, flash something in front of their face. And now this F is going to burst like they're going to the flat, put their right foot in the ground at two yards, and then burst back inside. And the quarterback really is going to take that snap, one step, set their feet, and get the ball to the F. Now, uh, if you get a man coverage situation, which you do a lot in flag football, uh, the way we would coach this up is understanding that really what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get the X, the center, and the Z to clear all of this out. Uh, anyone that coaches football from a defensive perspective, we'll flip it around here just a second to look at it, understands that you're coaching this linebacker right here to try to stay inside of the F. Anytime you're playing man coverage, uh, you want to be uh, inside leverage if you can. But oftentimes, if you've called that flat before, you can get this backer that's covering the F and man coverage to take off, all right? Try to cover the flat, try to cover the wheel or whatever. And so that F wants to get that linebacker moving, all right? We'll flip it back around. Get that linebacker moving. Once again, put their foot in the ground and at all costs come underneath and win inside. Once again, pretty easy throw right there in front of the quarterback. The quarterback may need to let the F win here. Now, nothing says uh, every situation is different. All personnel is different. You could actually put an alert on your center if you thought that they had a mismatch right there. You could look for the home run ball over the top of the corner. You may even look over here and go, we like this mismatch right here in a man coverage situation. That's why the beauty of first down playbook is to come in, move around your reads, change your reads to what fits you. Uh, we'll give you, as you know, I mean, there's going to be coaching points in here for this very play right here, but you can go in and edit that too. But we'll leave you with this, just a very simple, short throw right in front of the quarterback's face to where they can get the ball to a back out of the backfield in a hurry. And if everyone does what they're supposed to, you could quite possibly get this F inside man coverage and nothing but green grass in front of them for a touchdown.